This guide shows you how to install Signal on your Android based phone or tablet. So first of all, we need to find the Play Store. So let's just swipe up and there we go. There's Play Store just there. So tap that. Tap into Search for App just up here and uh, just type in there Signal, S-I-G-N-A-L. And as you can see, as I've typed it, it's come up Signal Private Messenger. So just tap that. And then we just tap install. And this bit might take a bit of time, just depends on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your device. So uh, just leave it for the moment. Okay, so that took some time to download. It's now installing. So just give it a few seconds and there we go, it's now installed. So just tap open. OK, so here we can read the terms and privacy policy if we want to on there or we can just jump straight in and tap continue. So it says here Signal needs access to your contacts media in order to connect with friends, exchange messages and make secure calls. So if we just tap continue on that there and we want to allow signal access to your contacts. If we don't allow signal access to your contacts, then you won't be able or it won't be able to find any of your other contacts that use Signal without you having to manually type in their number. So it's probably easier just to say allow on that. So I'm just gonna tap allow. And we wanna allow Signal to access photos, media files on your device. Because if we wanna send a photo or a video to somebody through Signal, we'll be able to do it if we allow Signal access to it. So tap allow. And again, we wanna allow Signal to make and manage phone calls. So just tap allow on that. OK, so it's now asking us to enter our number. So in most cases, our telephone number will already be entered in there. So we just got to tap next on there. And what will happen is they will send a text message with a verification code on there. Mine's come through automatically and it's automatically filled it out. But if yours hasn't, then just fill it in there. And now it wants us to set a, a PIN number on there, so I'm just gonna do that and then just tap continue. And it asks us to enter our name. In my case, it has actually already put my name in there. So just tap next. And then it wants to know, do we want to use as a default SMS app? So do you wanna use it as your default text message app? I'm gonna say no to that. I like to keep these apps on their own. This is basically saying, if you send a text message to somebody, instead of using your normal text messaging app that's built into your phone, it wants to use Signal. So I'm not gonna allow that. So I'm gonna just tap the cross just up there and I'm gonna say no to this. So change SMS app, no to that. So there we go. And that's it, Signal is now installed. If we want to start a, uh, a conversation with somebody else on Signal, you can just tap the little pencil just there and it will show you a list of all the people that are in your contacts that have also got Signal. Obviously, the more people have got it, then uh, the more people will appear in that list. At the time of recording this video, it is sort of early days for the popularity of Signal. So there might not be a lot of people on there at the moment, but I'm sure in time, popularity will grow even more and more of your contacts will appear there. So there you go. I hope this guide helps and thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.